In our January 2010 edition of Outlook Video, producer Eric Chong brought us Mona, a short film about a transgender Mexican-American who struggle for peace of mind living off the beaten path in rural Beverly, Washington, is rewarded by her own true spirit. In this month's show, Eric interviews Kathy Kiefer, producer and filmmaker of Mona. Kathy talks with him from Soap Lake, Washington, about the local film festival she started and about Mona's life. Back in January, we featured a short film called Mona, about a transgender woman living in the remote part of Washington State. We interviewed Kathy Kiefer, filmmaker of Mona, and here's what she has to say about the life of Mona and the making of the film. I'm a filmmaker. I live in eastern Washington in a little town called Soap Lake, kind of a little dot in the middle of the state of Washington. But I'm connected to the world, of course, because of the internet, and found out about this international documentary film challenge, a competition of teams all over the, the world to produce in four days a, do a short documentary. Mona came about as a result of me working with a team to produce this short piece. Mona was a uh, janitor where, uh, at one of the locations at the company that I work for on my day job. And I, I, people knew I was interested in transgender issues and told me about Mona. Uh, and so I was real interested in meeting her and inviting her into the possibility of doing this project. Mona is a Mexican-American, lives in poverty, uh, poor, down in a small little town, very small town, an old railroad town in the county that, that doesn't amount, amount to much but a bunch of broken down homes. She lives there uh, in a home that she's bought and paid for and feels pretty proud of that, um, really in a remote area. And basically we took two days to do the shooting and it was in March and it was, it was cold and it started to snow. So we really had to readjust our thinking about this piece. And so we ended up shooting all of it in Mona's little hovel of a house in her bedroom with this king size bed and two feet on each side of the bed. It's backed up against the headboard. There's three feet between the front of the bed and the door because it was produced in four days. Uh, we had to get the music and we had to you know, do the filming and the editing and all. It's just rush, rush, rush. We, um, we just shot it in her bedroom. So really a lot of the questions had to do with you know, who she, how she was feeling about who she was in her, in her skin. Mm -hmm. And it was great when her friend showed up that added just, we just we wanted just to just take anything. it a day in the life, in a life that she didn't have a whole lot to, to do that day because it was snowing anyway. Mona's Catholic. Mona is very comfortable in her own skin. She doesn't feel conflict with her religion. The Catholic piece came into the project because in the International Doc Film Competition there is a theme, and the theme that year was faith. She had these candles, the wax candles with the Virgin on them, and they were already there in her room, and we just worked them in with the, with the whole imagery and, and asked Mona how she felt about her faith. Um, you know, Mo Mona's English is good, but she thinks in, in Mexican. She thinks differently. She, her, the way she uses words um, are different than what one would maybe uh, expect. It's not like I could conduct a regular interview with her. Her answers were all pretty short, except when she was talking about femininity, when she was talking about herself, when she was talking about who she felt like. Well, I have a lot of friends who are transgendered, and I'm, I'm really interested in, in that journey, and it's somewhat of my own journey as well. Um, I also want other people to understand that journey. Somehow I feel that understanding the binary, the, the sort of male, female, masculine, feminine um, underpinnings of our, our society and our behavior and our culture and the way we live, is, is, it's valuable to understand what it means to be masculine or feminine or what male means and what female means and and just people who are transgendered have a lot to bring to the table in terms of their own feelings about who they are and their struggle to be who they are and their feeling and learning to feel and standing in their own skin and proclaiming 
their gender identity, which they have every right to do. And the first thing a person would want to do is contact a, a therapist. And there's therapists who work exclusively with or certainly have expertise in working with gender identity issues. Um, also in the Bay Area, there's a, a woman named Stephanie Brill who's been become really involved in Washington State with the uh, Gender Odyssey uh, co Conference. And she's working with parents and families of gender variant children. Um, she has a business called Maya. Kathy Kiefer is also a film festival coordinator up in Soap Lake, Washington. So this little town of Soap Lake has this beautiful state-of-the-art theater. We have great sound and projection system. And in 2009, I started a film series. We invite filmmakers to come to town and show their film. We do all the promoting of the film. We get them on the local radio station. They can call in. They don't have to be there for the, the radio interview. And then pay for the hotel for them to stay overnight here. And the uh, audiences are just adoring. Uh, they take the filmmaker out after the show. Uh, to the local pub and uh, or businessman's club and it's just a really wonderful experience for the filmmaker. Anybody interested in showing a film at, at uh, the Maskers Theater in Soap Lake can get a hold of me via my website that's soaplakewa.com. Just send me an email and we'll take it from there. We'd love to get mail from you. Send it to Outlook Video at P.O. Box 390-996, Mountain View, California, 94039-0996. To contact us by telephone, call 408-293-3040, extension 205. Or you can send email to comments at outlookvideo.org. To learn more about Outlook Video, point your web browser to our webpage at outlookvideo.org.